This is K9WLW with another video. Today's subject will be open spot 3 and cross moding from your DMR radio. Uh, last week I had a video regarding cross moding from D Star. Today I thought I would show what yeah, you I can do you know, with your DMR radio with the open spot 3. Okay, I'm going to assume that everyone has their uh, DMR ID if they're already having a DMR radio. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to cross mode with the Open Spot 3 from your DMR radio over to C4FM YSF reflectors, C4FM FCS reflectors, D Star reflectors, and we'll wrap it up with a cross moding over to NXDN. Uh, so with the Open Spot 3 and a DMR radio, you have access to four digital modes cross mode. The only mode that seems to be a standalone in this setup would be P25. Uh, I do not know of any P25 cross moding ability from DMR or D-Star for that matter. And to date, the only mode that I can find that cross modes to P25 is from a C4FM radio. But you still have access to all four digital networks with the Open Spot 3 and a DMR radio. Currently, I am monitoring on Brandmeister and I'm getting traffic already. It looks like Talk Group 302 keyed up. I have a, a number of static talk groups. I should have probably set this up without the static talk groups. In fact, let me do that because the traffic's not going to stop apparently. So I'm going to change my DMR ID to one that's quiet and doesn't have any static talk groups. So that'll take a minute. I didn't want to uh, jam it up with unnecessary traffic here. Open spot connected to Randmeister 3102. Okay, I'm now in another profile on DMR, so I shouldn't get any static traffic. But you can hear right now I'm currently connected to Brandmeister 3102, which is typical of somebody operating on Brandmeister here in the United States. There's a lot of people that use that server, and I'm one of them. Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate... Uh, let's assume that this a DMR radio is your only radio, and yet you want to explore the other worlds. Uh, the open spot is very unique in that in the settings page, you can set up five individual profiles. Here on the settings page, profile one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, when you get your open spot and you configure it for all of the digital modes, I set mine for all five. Um, you're only setting it up in profile one. You can transfer all your data, your call signs and DMR ID and frequencies that you use for the open spot uh, to all five of your profiles. On the settings page, there's a section that says copy. So after you've configured it for all five of the digital modes, I recommend copying your first profile to the other five. So you load number one in the source, and then you can load two in the destination, and then hit the copy button, and it will copy your profile. And do the same with, with 3, 4, and 5. That way you won't have to reconfigure your hotspot for the other modes uh, so much. It'll have your frequency, your, your call sign, and your uh, DMR ID all transfer over to all five profiles. And then when you tr manually switch between the five profiles, you can then go and configure each profile for cross-moding if you like. I've set up, and you can name them by adding a name to them and then just hitting the save button under the profile names. 
Now, in, for this demonstration video, I've named Profile 1 for Brandmeister. I've named Profile 2 DMR to YSF. I've named Profile 3 DMR to FCS. I've uh, named Profile number 4 DMR to D-Star, and I've named Profile 5 DMR to NXDN. By setting up the five profiles, it makes the transition from one network to the other very quick and very easy. And I will show you that in the video. Uh, from DMR mode, or the DMR modem mode if you're using the DMR radio, uh, the command to change profiles is simply a private call to 9001, 9002, 9003, 9004, and 9005. So that makes it really easy to, uh, to switch amongst your five profiles. Well, right now I'm on profile one, which is the Brandmeister. Now you can manually change them from the menu, which is a little clunky. It works, but let's say you're in a mobile environment or you don't have a browser. Again, you don't have to have a browser to use your open spot. Um, it's nice to be able to QSY to other profiles pretty quickly. Well, I'm going to start this by going to Profile 2. From the DMR radio, all you have to do is do a private call. And I'm going to punch in 9002. And I'm going to do a quick push to talk. And that will trigger the open spot to transition over to Profile 2 which is DMR to YSF. So here we go with the push to talk. Open spot, profile two, ready. Open spot, connected to YSF, reflector, two, one, zero, eight, zero. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and there I am connected to YSF 21080 with the DMR radio. Now, for cross-mode QSO, once you've connected to a YSF reflector, uh, you'll notice the talk group coming out of the hotspot into the DMR radio is talk group 9. And of course, open spot uses time slot 1, and you can set the color code on the open spot in the DMR settings. I use color code 1 pretty much exclusively with the open spot, but any color code will do as long as you have it set up in the radio. So the traffic coming at you in cross mode on YSF reflectors comes at your radio in talk group 9. So you'll have to have talk group 9 set in your radio or you'll have to have your radio set up in promiscuous mode to in order to hear the traffic. Now, that being said, to QSO cross mode into fusion or YSF reflectors, you have to set up talk group 9 as your transmit as well. Now, I did a shortcut uh, with the Anytone where I just hit the star key and it captured talk group 9, so if I key up now it keys up talk group 9. So I can actually just begin QSOing on YSF reflector 21080. So you simply QSO on talk group 9 when you're cross-moding to YSF. Okay, now this is another cool feature of the open spot. When you're on your DMR radio and you want to QSY to a different YSF reflector, all you have to know is the five-digit number that the YSF reflector is known as. I'm going to look one up here just to demonstrate. Okay, I'm going to type in the word O-H-I-O -O for Ohio. Anything with Ohio in the YSF reflector world is narrowed down in my search. So let's say I want to go to Ohio link, uh, I believe they're now transitioning to 40557. 
Or better yet, let me try U.S. Northwest Ohio, 83242. Okay, we're currently tuned in to America's Link. And I have to wait for a break in the traffic because that's a busy reflector. So let me turn the Look volume up. Have a great day. W, uh, I want to do a manual dial. Private ID. The Ohio, Northwest Ohio is 83242. So I'm going to load up 83242. Private ID to 83242. Now I'm going to do a quick push to talk and watch what happens. Open spot connected to YSF reflector 83242. It just QSY to YSF reflector 82342. So that is how you can QSY with your radio. You do a private call to the five digit number of the YSF reflector and it will QSY you there very quickly and very easily without even having to necessarily use the dashboard. I think that's a very cool feature. Okay, uh, we'll go back to, let me try 53594, which is US Ohio, just to demonstrate again. So I get the private ID dial up. Let's see, the number it says is 53594, so I just dial 53594, and it looks like I made a boo-boo on there, hold on, 53594, here we go, private ID, quick push to talk, release, Open spot connected to YSF reflector 53594. There you have it. That's really easy. Now remember to QSO, you have to set up talk group 9 to QSO on a YSF reflector once you're connected. So I'll switch to talk group 9 and hit a quick push to talk. And anytime you transmit with Talk Group 9, you will transmit over the YSF reflector. And of course, the traffic will be heard via Talk Group 9 in your radio, your DMR radio. So that's the link to, or the method of cross moding to YSF reflectors. Okay, now OpenSpot uniquely has a separate connector for FCS reflectors, which are also C4 FM network. And I didn't want to forget those, so I set that up as Profile 3, DMR to FCS reflectors. So to go to Profile 3, I'll manually dial a private call, 9003. And there I will do a quick push to talk and release, and it will trigger the open spot to leave YSF and... Open spot, Profile 3, ready. And in a moment, it will connect to the FCS world. Open spot connected to FCS to room 90. Okay, I'm now in the FCS reflectors in the fusion world. Uh, it said FCS to room 90. Now, the FCS reflectors are a little different in that they're three digit numbers in the open spot. I'm going to refresh the browser here so I can show what I'm talking about. Okay, on the connectors page, it shows me FCS002, room 90. That's known as 290, which is also an America's Link uh, FCS reflector. Now, to change FCS reflectors, all you need to know is the three-digit FCS number. They either start with a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, and then there's two digits after. Uh, I'll pick Ohio again, which I remember from heart, which is FCS 235. 
So to connect to FCS 235, I private dial the three digit number 235 in private call, quick push to talk, release. Connected to FCS 2 through 35. And that's how you QSY around the FCS reflector network. Very easy. And again, like the YSF, you have to transmit in Talk Group 9 in order to be heard. So once you've connected, just key up Talk Group 9 and you are out over the YSF or FCS reflectors. Again, Talk Group 9 is important. If you don't have it programmed in or keyed up, they will not hear you. And if you don't have Talk Group 9 in your receive, you will not hear the announcements from the open spot nor will you hear the traffic in the uh, YSF or FCS reflectors. So it is important that you set up Talk Group 9 both for receive and transmit. Okay, well that explains YSF and FCS, which covers the C4FM worlds. How about D-Star? I set up D-Star as Profile 4. So let's connect to D-Star. So that would be a private dial 9004 and a quick push to talk private. Open spot profile for ready. Open spot connected to REF. Charlie. There is the announcement in Talk Group 9 again. It chatters in Talk Group 9, which is kind of cool. I like how the open spot tells you what you're doing. Uh, it says that I'm connected to REF 030 Charlie, otherwise known as Reflector 30 Charlie, on the open spot. Okay, now. This is where it gets a little tricky. The QSY feature on the OpenSpot platform from the DMR network or DMR radio through the DSTAR network, uh, they had to get a little creative. Let me go over to the dashboard and I will show you. Okay. The best way to do that is to program private talk groups for the right commands. I'm going to go to the user's manual and, and show you. Go down to connectors in the left-hand column and under REF and XRF. Tap on that, or click on that, and it gives you some interesting instructions on how to cross mode. Okay, there's the DTMF method of changing reflectors. Okay, let me see if I can find the Ah, here we are. Special IDs for server change. This pertains to cross-moding from your DMR radio to D-Star. Okay. And the way that you do that is, is you have to understand the coding they put in here. Code 1 is REF reflectors. Code 2 is XRF reflectors. Code 3 is XLX reflectors. Code 4 is is DCS reflector. So it'll let you transition over to any of the D-Star reflectors. All four types. Okay. And it does go into explain. It gets a little convoluted, but it does work. Okay. So for example, if you want to connect to DCS 009 alpha, you would use the 4 for DCS you would use zero zero or I'm sorry after the four you would hit the number nine for reflector nine in the DCS world 
and then the module for D star, A through Z, A is 0, 0, B is 0, 1, C module is 0, 2. So for DCS 0, 0, 9 alpha, you would dial 4, 9, 0, 0 for the A module. Okay, another example, REF Reflector 31 Charlie, third one listed here. 10102. One is for REF. I'm sorry, that's for one Charlie. My apologies. Zero one would be reflector one, and zero two would be the C module. And for 30 Charlie, it's the fourth one down. It's 13002. So that would be the coding. I hope that makes sense. So I programmed in the radio a couple of commands and these are private calls by the way that's the command they're not group call I programmed reflector one Charlie here and 30 Charlie so I'm going to load up the command for one Charlie and now I selected it and I'm going to do a quick push to talk 10102 Apparently, I wasn't quick enough. I have an open spot in three as well. Speaking of open spot three, they're still being talked about on the networks. Okay, it took my command a little slow to respond. Now I'm connected to REF001 Charlie. You heard the announcement. Okay, I'll go back to 30 Charlie, which is... this command here. Now I'm going to do the 30 Charlie command. Open spot connected to REF 030 Charlie. Okay, like C4FM, when you connect to D Star, after you've done your link command, you want to tile up Talk Group 9 for QSO. So you definitely have to transmit Talk Group 9 like so in order to be heard on the D-Star networks. So again, like C4FM, always QSO with Talk Group 9 in your transmission to be heard on the C4FM or D-Star networks. Okay, I'm going to get away from this busy reflector so I can demonstrate the last cross mode which is DMR to NXDN. I know this is kind of off the beaten path, but there's a lot of traffic on 30 Charlie, so it's going to be hard to escape. So I'm going to connect to a not busy uh, D-Star reflector just to uh, make the transition easier. So bear with me a moment. I'm going to use the dashboard just to be safe. I'll connect to 33 Charlie. There's usually not traffic Open there. Spot connected to REF 033 Charlie. Okay. It should be quiet here. All right. Profile 5. I set up for Brandmeister, or I'm sorry, for DMR to NXDN. To get there, I simply dial the manual dial of 9005 private call, quick push to talk, open spot profile 5 ready, it should connect here in a moment, open spot connected to NXDN reflector 31010, 
Okay, it connected to NXDN reflector, in this case 31010. Okay, how do you QSY around the NXDN reflectors? Well, you have to know their reflector numbers. And if you look on the open spot connectors list, you'll see all the NXDN reflectors and it'll, their listed numbers. I'll do an example of connecting to 1200 Florida. And again, we do the private dial ID. In this case, I'm going to connect to NXDN 1200. Okay. And a quick push to talk. Open spot connected to NXDN reflector 1200. And, of course, it announces the connection in Talk Group 9. Now, rather than using Talk Group 9 from the DMR radio to talk on NXDN, um, we just connected to 1200. The open spot works best on NXDN cross-moding if you then use the Talk Group number. Talk Group, not private dial. Remember, the private dials to connect. For QSO and NXDN, you want to do a group, talk group 1200. And I programmed a, a uh, NXDN 1200 Florida in my directory on the radio there. But to QSO, you want to, you want to do a group call to the NXDN reflector. To QSY, you want to do a private call to the NXDN reflector. I'm going to go back to Alabama link on NXDN 31010 private call, quick push to talk. Connected to NXDN reflector 31010. And then for QSO, wait for it to unkey. Switch to group ID 31010. Quick push to talk, and I'm ready to QSO on Alabama Link. Anyway, that is how you cross mode to C4FM YSF reflectors, C4FM FCS reflectors. All of the D-Star networks. Again, you'll want to read the manual on that under the connectors section. It's a kind of a convoluted coding, but it does work in D-Star. And, of course, NXDN is also a cross-mode available with the open spot. If you have an open spot 2, the only thing you're missing out of this video would be the cross-moding to D-Star. The features work just the same cross-moding to Fusion and cross-moding to NXDN on an open spot 2. Uh, the only thing missing, of course, is the D-Star cross mode because the Open Spot 2 doesn't have the, I believe it's the vocoder chip. So you can do three of the four other groups, or two of the other three groups, I should say, uh, with an Open Spot 2, but D-Star is a nice addition uh, in cross mode on the Open Spot 3. And let's say you want to go back to your homeland, which is uh, Brandmeister. Remember I had Brandmeister in Profile 1, so I'm going to manually dial Profile 19001, and a quick push to talk, and release. Open spot, Profile 1, ready. Open spot connected to Brandmeister 3102. And there you go. Back to Brandmeister 3102. So that's it. I think that's a fantastic, fantastic way to QSY uh, with your DMR radio to NXDN, D Star, and the Fusion World. Nice, nice touch open spot. Uh, I like how they did that. They put a lot of thought into it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please feel fr free to comment or question below or email me at cq2meters at yahoo.com. 73s from K9WLW.